Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 15th of November 2025, it's time for my third game in my regular trio of games which is the, uh, what is it, <laughs> I've forgotten what it is, it's the uh, Los Angeles Times Expert Level Puzzle, there we are, I play it every day and I've still forgotten. Um, Fulton County, Georgia bringing back memories uh, maybe it's on again uh, if you remember uh, a long time ago uh, I think in my opinion a ridiculous decision that removed Farney Willis as the uh, attorney the district attorney uh, she, not removed her as district attorney but removed her from the case that uh, was dealing with the uh, conspiracy group RICO charge I think it was actually back down there uh, with Trump and all of the people who signed the fake electors scheme masses of evidence there she was removed because she was having an affair with someone on her own team not the other side now if she had been having an affair with someone on the other side that would have been grounds for dismissal immediately of course but when it's someone on your own team I don't see that it means anything whatsoever anyway stupidly they decided they had to get rid of her and of course uh, Trump became president and uh, you know not a peep was heard until now possibly uh, they've been desperately trying to find a new prosecutor prosecutor to take over the case and one by one they've all been going oh, not me I'm not I'm not facing that orange lump uh, the revenge and the you know the, the 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 vitriol that's going to come from that fat <laughs> thing uh, that is that calls himself president uh, they know what life would be like but they finally found someone his name is Pete Skand Skandalakis I think that's how it's pronounced I don't know if there's any scandal in his kiss but anyway Skandalakis uh, his his name and uh, unbiased um, prosecution is his game apparently uh, is one of the been been tasked by the non-partisan prosecuting attorneys council of georgia and uh you know so i mean the evidence is there right i mean there's masses of evidence there to be gone through but of course nothing is likely to happen against trump at least and that may mean everybody or the whole 14 other defendants uh who he who trump recently pardoned but of course it doesn't um have an effect on state uh, charges uh, nothing will probably happen until Trump uh, leaves office or dies whichever comes f first and uh, uh, he's likely to die a happy man I think and uh, never be charged with anything let's get on with the game of Sudoku then should we start with ones blocking across like this and one up here like I said this is the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle I think I feel like he's going to escape justice. Some people just get away with stuff their whole life. He feels like one of those people to me. Two and four blocking here. That puts two and four into those squares there. Oh, I see a four down here, by the way. Let's do that first. which will then give us fours in those squares as well. Anything else we can learn from this? Not sure. How about the twos? Any news on two? Probably not much. All right, so we've got two and four there. This then is going to be five, seven, and nine. We've got seven and nine together, so Here's a five for you. Five blocking across here, across there, and down there. That's a five. Four and five in this block here, and I see that we need four and five in this column, so four and five must be in those two squares there. And that will leave us with one and two here. 
no, not one and two. Sorry, we got two up there. That will leave us with one and one and eight here. Sorry. Oh, that's even better because we've got an eight blocking across there. So there's the eight, and there's the one. Okay, believe I've got a seven in that square there. Let's just check it out. Seven blocks across here like this. Now I said these two squares here comprise two and four, so seven must be one of those squares, so that can't be seven. So that limits seven to one of these two squares blocking back and seven blocking down here. Sorry, I think I misguided you. That's where the seven should I knew I'd seen it <laughs> in this block. I mis <laughs> mis mis um, positioned it. There we go. Let's block like that. There's a seven. <clears throat> seven across here and like I say this is two and four so that's the seven there and this is not two or four so that's nine nine blocking down here and across here means that nine is in one of those two squares blocking up nine back that way there's a nine Two and nine block this square here. That puts two and nine into those squares and leaves us back here with a six. Two more digits to find up there. They are three and eight. Two blocking all of those squares there. So in that column, there's two. Two blocking across here, there's two. One more number there, that's a nine. <coughs> Uh, let's just double check this up here first. One, four, seven. Oh, seven down here. There's a seven. And that's going to be a three. I was saying one, four, seven. Anything we can do there? Uh, not sure. And this we worked out before. Uh, I've lost it again. Three. Three eight one four seven. So this is five six, is it? Five six in those squares. <coughs> How about this down here? Uh, six and nine. So this is one and three three blocking there there's the three and there's the one two six eight down here <coughs> not much idea about that yet No completed digits yet. Uh, 
But I see a lot of threes blocking this line here. I think we've got enough to give us one empty square. We have indeed. Look at all that. And there's a three. I was hoping we were about to be rescued by an easy number, and we were. Because I was going to say, oh dear, I'm going to have to really think hard now. But no, there was one easy number to get there. And that's moved us forward, inched us forward just a smidgen. Six blocking like this. Now we've got seven up here. Seven's this way. And uh, seven and nine are finished. Uh, what was the missing numbers up here? One and... Um, four.
one blocks this square, one blocks this square, one blocks this square. So in this row, there's one. Okay, we've got five blocking this square, five blocking this square, five blocking this square, five blocking this square, but we haven't quite finished because we see five across here. So we know five in one of those two squares, meaning that can't be five. That must be a five. Okay, in this column here, we don't have 2 and we don't have 8, but we've got 2 and 8 here. So those squares are a pair of 2 and 8, and this is the other number, the other number being 6. 6 blocking like this, 6 is up there. There's a 6 and 5 blocking across and up there and up there gives us 5 in that square this must be 4 that's 5 uh, 5 across here and 5 across there that's a 5 4 blocking up here there's a 4 4 that way there's a 4 that's a 2 need a 2 there 2 blocking up 2 across there there's 2 2 down here down there there's 2 last number there I just said it a minute ago and I've forgotten it again is an 8 isn't it 8 blocks across there there's an 8 and the missing number here is 2 that's the last digit 2 right we still need 1's where do we get a 1 uh, not sure oh let's get this number up here what is that <coughs> is it 5 I think it is three blocking there there's our uh, three three across here and three up there there's a three the game is over now this is an eight eight blocks back that way there's an eight the missing number here is a one one across there there's a one missing number here is four still need a four there four blocks down that's a four the last number here is a six six blocks down there there's a six and the last number to go in is an eight so a rapid ending there once we got found the uh, path through the wood thanks for joining me uh, i'll see you again tomorrow take care bye bye